Well, there's no doubt about it. Every time they bring out a new version of Windows, it does unfortunately slow your PC down. So in this guide, what I'm gonna show you is I'm gonna show you the best hacks to try and reclaim that speed. If you've upgraded to Windows 11, if you know it's to slow down, or if you've got a computer and you've noticed, you think to yourself, oh, it's running a bit slow, let's speed it up. So here's a few of my secrets and hacks which allow you to get the best out of your Windows 11 PC. And some of these hacks and secrets will also apply to Windows 10, possibly Windows 8 and possibly Windows 7 too. So, okay, so don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. I've just turned on my PC for the first time. So if you're at this bit here, I just say no to all of these. So just go no, and that's that's you can only do that if you're actually at this part. So no or the bottom answer is always the best to go for. So just doing that, just selecting no. Okay, so that protects your privacy. So you're you're not you're also really saving on processing power as well because the less the computer's doing, the more you're going to get out of it yourself. If it's going to be sending things off in the background, it's going to take bandwidth, albeit okay, only a small amount of bandwidth, but it's also going to take processing power as well, which is going to slow you down, and that's not what we want. So. What we're gonna do is, first of all, is we're gonna click on the start button to get the start menu up on the screen. And I'm gonna type on the keyboard the word control. That's C-O-N-T-R-O-L. Once you've typed that in, hopefully under best match, you should see control panel just there. So let's click on that. And the next thing we wanna do is we want to go up to view by and make sure that says large. So click on category and then click on large. Now, if it's already got large up there, you can leave it. If it's got small up there, you can leave it. Or if it's got small and you wanna change it to large, you can click on small and then click on large there. Next thing we wanna do is we wanna click on system just there. And then we want to basically scroll down or go to the right or try and open this out and we wanna find advanced system settings. So click on advanced system settings. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure that we click on advanced up there in the tab, okay, and then click on settings under performance. And we wanna untick all of this block here. So I wanna untick animate controls and elements inside Windows, when I untick animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, and also animations in the taskbar, untick that, untick enable peak, untick fade or slide menus into view, untick fade or slide tooltips into view, and untick fade out menu items after clicking. We also wanna get rid of a couple of things here. So we wanna untick show window contents whilst dragging, and we wanna to untick slide open combo boxes as well and we want to untick smooth scroll list boxes so the rest of them we can keep so we're basically keeping a tick next to show shadows under windows show thumbnails instead of icons show translucent section rectangle smooth edges of all screen fonts and use drop shadows for icon labels on the desktop so keep those five boxes ticked then click on apply and then click ok and hopefully windows should start to run a bit smoother so it's not fading things in it's not fading things out it's not smooth scrolling to slow things down it should get you working nice and quick now whilst you're in here you want to go to personalization on the left hand side just there click on that and we want to go into colors there so click on colors and the next thing we want to do is take out transparency effects, get rid of transparency effects. Again, takes up a bit of processing power, a bit of graphical power, free it up for other things on the system. So turn that off, okay? And then what we wanna do is we wanna click back on personalization there, and we wanna go down to lock screen, click on that. And what we wanna do is we want to basically under personalize your lock screen, change that to a plain boring picture. Okay, now we can select what picture we like here, 
keep it plain, keep it simple. This is what you get on the, on the lock screen when you first turn the computer on or when it signs out. Now we wanna also untick, get fun facts, tips and tricks and more on your lock screen. So get rid of that. Again, it's just taking a little bit of processing power. Click on lock screen status and just basically click none on that. Show the lock screen background picture on the signing screen. Turn that off, not needed. All these things take up processing power, albeit, okay, a little bit of processing power, but they all add up at the end of the day. So wanna get rid of them. And less things that are happening in the background, the less problems you're likely to get. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click on the back button up there on settings and click on system and then we're going to find notifications so click on notifications and basically here want to untick all these we want to untick show me the windows welcome experience after updates and occasionally when i sign in to highlight what's new and suggested take the tick out of that offer suggestions on how i can set up my device take the tick out of that get tips and suggestions when i use windows now all these things are just basically really going to be to try and get you to sign in with a Microsoft account if you haven't done so already. So take the ticks out of those. The next thing we want to do is we want to go to apps. So click on apps on the left there and then click on apps and features just there. Go down here and just have a look to see if there's anything you don't need. Like say for instance 3D Viewer, I'm going to uninstall that. So I'm going to click on that, click uninstall and then uninstall again. Keep going down. There's some things we can't uninstall like Cortana. We go to that, uninstall's grayed out. We're gonna have to leave that. Uh, feedback Hub, do I need that? No, not really. Click on uninstall. Films and TV from Microsoft, don't need that. So uninstall. And like I say, just keep going down the list. If you're not gonna be using the built-in mail and calendar on there, uninstall that. Again, taking up room, not a great deal of room, admittedly, but a little bit of room there. So get, get rid of it. If you're not going to use it, get rid of it. But also it's things happening in the background, things taking up space in the background. So just have a look through this list. If there's something in there that you're not going to use, then just go click on the three dots and then click on uninstall and then uninstall again to confirm. So that clears up, like I say, a few little extras in the background that are supplied by Microsoft. But like I say, if you're not going to use them, get rid of them. So let's just close this down by clicking on the cross in the top right hand corner. I'm back here now to the old classic uh, Windows menu. So what I'm going to do as well is I'm just going to go into power options there and I'm going to click on choose what the power buttons do. And I'm going to make sure that both of these are set to shut down, that is when I press the power button. And that just makes it easier for when you shut the computer down. You can just press the power button so you don't have to go down to the uh, the start button down there to the power and then to shut down. You can just push the power button on the computer. Also, it's worth having a look in all apps on the start menu there to see if there's anything else on there that you don't need um, and remove it. Like for instance, I did notice on the on the main screen back there, there's Spotify, don't use that. So right click on it, left click uninstall, and then uninstall, that gets rid of that. Disney Plus, don't use that, so uninstall, uninstall. Again, it's just a matter of going through when you find things on here that you don't want, just right click and uninstall, see if it lets you uninstall them. Again, these are all taking up a little bit of space and could be taking up a little bit of processing power. Again, as I say, not much in their own right, but as a whole, they could be taking up quite a lot. You can always reinstall those apps from the App Store if you need to later on, or the Microsoft Store as it is up there. So as I say, these are a few little tips and tricks, hacks for you to try and speed up Windows 11. They might also work on Windows 10, Windows 8 and Windows 7. If you've got any tips you want to add, then please don't forget to comment down below. I hope you like this video and if you did, why not stick around at my YouTube channel, have a look round and hopefully you'll find something else to watch. Hopefully there'll be something to educate you, entertain you and maybe even amuse you. 
I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released. Hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.